Hey guys, I think we only have so much time before our, uh, they find out where I am. Listen, you might see this and say, yeah, I don't trust his judgment, but trust me on this one, really. Our family took a couple of amazing trips over the past couple of years. I'd love to show you what we experienced and how much fun we had. Oh boy. Hey, what's up? None much, man. None much with me either. Get out of here. Why? That gray hair is is definitely earned. Hey, listen, we're gonna share three cool places that are extremely family friendly, and I know that your family will enjoy them. And the first on this list is going to be the Best Western Premier Bridgewood Resort. This place is in Nina, Wisconsin. It surprised me. Big time. Uh, we showed up. The parking lot was nice and big. The entry was very welcoming. And although it was busy, we didn't feel like we were in the way. Uh, the rooms are really nice size. There is a living room option where there's space for the kids to kind of hang out, enjoy watching TV, uh, maybe have dinner and so forth. And then there's a kitchenette. Uh, off of that, there's a bedroom uh, with a king size bed. The bathroom was lovely. I'm going to show you an uh, inside tour of that right now. Now, if there is one thing that I'd have to say that they could improve upon at this resort would be the issue with noise transferring uh, between the walls, uh, but maybe more so uh, coming in from uh, the hallway. Uh, we were near an entry exit point and man, you could pretty much hear everybody coming and going in there. Wasn't the biggest deal? Is it something that can be improved upon? Maybe. It's definitely something that I would recommend that they take a look at because that would help send that resort to the top. Um, the connecting hall or corridor to the restaurant was something to uh, take note of. They really have it decorated nice. Uh, there's space in there, I believe, for businesses to have, you know, meetings and it's like a convention hall. And there are these real cool lights that were strung at the ceiling level that um, really showcase that uh, area. And that corridor led right into the ground round. Now, I don't know about you, but when you say ground round, I think of, you know, Ponderosa, maybe old country buffet, that type of deal. My expectations were really low. When we got into the place, oh, the finishes were great. The, you know, the decoration, interior design and all that stuff, it was great. It was set up really nice. The lighting was great. Um, the colors were cool. The seating was comfortable and the service was spot on. I'm gonna give those guys a shout out because the food was great and it was uh, fairly priced. And that would be the ground round connected to the Best Western Premier Ridgewood uh, Suites in uh, our resort in Nina. Go check them out. Number two. Number two is going to be a place that's near and dear to me. It's a place where I went to college. If any of my college colleagues are out there, they understand. Madison, Wisconsin's UW campus. This place is phenomenal, guys. In and around the city of Madison, there are five lakes. All of the lakes you can pretty much take uh, watercraft uh, out onto. Uh, Wingra being the smallest, mm, you're not gonna take a pontoon on that lake, but there are kayaks and canoes that are available for rent, or you can bring your own uh, to get out on the lake and experience all that that, uh, that space has to offer. Uh, the last time that we got on a lake in Madison, it was Lake Mendota. Lake Mendota is the largest lake in the Madison metropolitan area, and it's phenomenal. Uh, we took advantage of one of the rental options there in the city, and there are quite a few. Look up uh, pontoon rentals, and you will see that there are quite a few. Uh, in our case, uh, we made good use of MSCR, that's the Madison School and Community Recreations. Uh, those guys will launch from the Tinny Locks, near Tinney Park, and all you have to do is reach out to them, uh, set up a time, 
to go and experience uh, getting out on the lake. They actually provided a captain uh, for us to uh, charter our, our trip. And he was phenomenal. He was funny. He was knowledgeable about the history uh, of the city and all of the area attractions uh, near uh, and surrounding Lake Mendota. So we left there uh, and we learned a, a good deal about the history of Madison uh, and had a, a very nice time. After we left there, we spent some time on the UW campus. Why not? If you got a teenager that's looking to move on to college and take that next big leap, you would do your family and that teenager service by adding uh, University of Wisconsin-Madison on their list of, interesting, of, of schools that they're interested in. The University of Wisconsin-Madison is huge. It's big. Don't let that scare them though. And don't let that scare you either, all right? It was a great time. I uh, It's my alma mater. I had an outstanding time while I was there. Uh, the educational uh, system is, is good. And uh, there's so much to do. In this case, we toured the dorms near uh, the Lakeshore uh, area of the school. There's been a tremendous amount of investment uh, in the school and so much has changed definitely since I was there. I didn't know back when I was in school that the, at some point these youngsters would have the ability to order food and a robot would deliver it to them. I would assume that uh, there are a lot of schools that are offering this option and it's just another way to push technology forward. And that's what you wanna see uh, at, a higher, at a, a higher level institution. After uh, we toured the campus, it was time for a little exercise. Me and Olivia walked the paths along uh, Ramers Coal uh, and Picnic Point. Definitely give these attractions some time when you're in the city of Madison. Uh, while we were out, uh, we noticed that a humongous tree uh, had fallen over uh, the path that we were walking on. You can't let a tree stop your progress, keep it rolling. It was a, a very, very cool outing for us. Number three, Wisconsin Dells, but more specifically, the Great Wolf Lodge. This place we actually visited twice in one year uh, because of uh, the accommodations there. When you arrive, you will find that they have uh, multiple uh, pools, uh, indoor and outdoor. They have two humongous water buckets that uh, fill and then spill over on top of all the kids. Man, that was pretty satisfying. And they also have wave pools inside. It's a place that you're gonna wanna check out. Something to note, uh, when we arrived on the second visit that we paid uh, to the Great Wolf Lodge, we were assigned a first floor room. When we entered, right away I noticed that the carpet was pretty bad. It was in rough shape. Uh, I walked past that area and to the slider, the glass slider to go out onto the patio. And I noticed just off the patio, there were a ton of cigarette butts and uh, some uh, glass and aluminum uh, beer cans and so forth. So someone was partying there and staff apparently forgot to clean the place up. So we placed a call to uh, the front desk. Uh, we didn't lose it, you know, we we're cool people. We didn't lose it. We just said, hey, listen, this is the situation that, that we have. We are visiting for the second time and uh, we find that this is unacceptable. That pretty much was all that it took. Uh, those guys came down uh, took a look and then they put us in a, a room on either the second or third floor. I can't remember. Either way, it had a really good view of uh, the indoor uh, pool uh, facility and we loved it. Uh, we had uh, in that room a fireplace, a nice uh, cabin space made specifically for the kids, I think. Those beds are really small and it was just ideal. It was, it was, it was perfect for our kids. Uh, and that cabin setup. It varies from room to room, but uh, from our experience, it's in every in each of the rooms that uh, uh, we've stayed in at the Great Wolf Lodge. I keep forgetting the name of this place, but it's the Lodge Wood Fired Grill. Yeah, pay those guys a visit and you'll be impressed. It was priced accordingly. I'll throw some images up so that you can see uh, some of the dishes that we had. 
Uh, again, staff, this is huge with us. Staff was attentive, uh, they're nice, uh, and when they mentioned or, or when they said that they were gonna bring you something or do something, they did it. That goes a long way uh, with us and probably you as well. If you have a knucklehead in your family, like us, I'm sure they would enjoy knuckleheads, gaming, and pizzeria, which is in walking distance from the Great Wolf Lodge. In that huge facility, there are numerous updated uh, gaming systems. Uh, there's a theater. There's even uh, carnival size uh, rides indoors. Uh, pay those guys a visit as well, and I, I'm pretty sure uh, you'll be impressed with that. And there you have it. Those are the three recommendations that we have for you today. We encourage you guys to not overlook Wisconsin. There's so many things to do that cater to families. These are but three of our recommendations. Stay tuned. We'll have some more for you before long.